Well, today it didn't start as planned, but in a really, really good way. Today, the electric company showed up to put in the calls. It was only three days ago that we called our contact at the electric company that we are ready to put in the calls. And he said it will get scheduled for uh, next week, but they're here on Friday. And we're very excited to have our calls in. Surprise you got that deep. So in order to get electricity all the way up to our house site at the top of the thousand foot driveway, we had to come up with a plan. And what we ended up deciding to do was to run overhead wire about 750 feet up there. And then the final 200 feet or so was going to be underground conduits. How deep do you need? ledge but it seems to be crumbling nicely yeah we did look at doing the whole thing underground unfortunately because we have so much shallow ledge or bedrock on the property here it was just going to be prohibitively expensive we would have had to blast about 750 feet all the way up uh, to the house site at the top so instead we decided to go with overhead wires so poles electrical poles with the wires between them three poles that would take us from the road at the bottom where we have electricity all the way up to just shy of the house. From there, we would go underground for the final stretch. That way from the house site, we can't see the wires, but we've got the much cheaper and much more realistic overhead wires running the length of the driveway. And that's what the utility company was here to do today. They were here to put in the poles. So we have been clearing slash piles and trees and things out of the way to clear the three sites where the poles are going to be installed. The three poles that they're setting are about equally spaced. Each one is about 200 to 250 feet apart, various points off the driveway. It's uh, quite a machine. <laughs> I'm so glad we have a good driveway. When they arrived, the first thing they did was uh, head up and put in the first pole. So this is about two to 250 feet from the road. They headed up and they've got this big truck with a big boom and a giant auger drill. And they were able to use that to drill in. Now, it became pretty quickly apparent they were gonna hit some ledge in there. And that auger is able to deal with a fair amount of ledge. They were drilling through, they hit the ledge as expected and they just kept drilling through. and eventually they made it down the six feet, which is what they have to do to sink the 40 foot pole into. It was really cool to watch them do this. With the, the boom and the auger, they drilled down. Once they had that hole, they were then able to put the pole in place. Again, using another attachment on the boom to kind of maneuver that into, into position. And then they used the, the boom to actually lift a, a big mat on which they had emptied out all the dirt and the, the, the pulverized ledge, I guess, they had dug up. They used the, the boom to lift that back and, and pour it into the hole while compacting it down with a pneumatic tamper that they were able to do to really kind of set that thing solid. It was actually a fairly quick procedure. I think it took maybe about, was it 45 minutes to an hour maybe to, to get that pole in. And that pole is now locked solid in about six feet of solid rock.
Having done pole number one, uh, they headed up, dropped off a pole at location two, and instead headed all the way up to the top to location three to install the, the final pole there. Now this is the most critical pole for us. This is the one we want to get in as soon as possible because that's the one that our conduit needs to meet for the underground service. We've been designing the system ourselves. We have uh, worked with an electrician who's kind of signed off on, on, what, on what we're trying to do. We've also had a lot of support from the electrical company. They've been fantastic to deal with. And we just needed to know exactly where our conduit needs to terminate as we transition from the overhead pole to the underground primary service. You can feel when they're drilling over there, you can feel it under your feet now. It's a solid rock, obviously, just all the way across. So after putting in pole number three, they came back down the driveway to the location of pole number two. Uh, this is again somewhere we cleared a slash pile within the last week or so, and they were able to get in there no issue. Unfortunately, as soon as they started trying to drill, they hit rocks straight away. And I mean like straight away. With a shovel, you could just hit the shovel on the ground and it was just solid rock wherever they tried to, to go. They did try and cover the area and find a spot nearby that they could get through but we just weren't able to find anywhere that was a suitable location that didn't have the rock. The more we go back away from the driveway, the more trees we have to clear, and we'd rather not clear more trees than necessary. So we didn't want to sort of bury it 20 feet back into the forest or something, that, that wouldn't work very well for us. So they actually had to give up on installing that pole for today, and they're gonna uh, come back on a separate occasion with a dedicated ledge drilling truck. Uh, this has some kind of, I think it's a pneumatic powered hammer or something that will make quick work of the ledge, I believe. Once they've got the hole, then they can, as standard, install the pole and go from there. So after lunch, they started working at the road. This is pole number zero, if you like. This is the main transmission line that we're going to connect our little sideline into. They did have some work to do here. Even though they weren't installing the lines today, they had to install a push pole. So when you have a pole, normally it's got wires coming in one side and going out the other. So it's pulled equally in both directions. In our case, we were installing a wire at 90 degrees to the main transmission line, perpendicular coming off up our driveway. And although there is a, another wire going off to a neighboring property on the other side of the road, uh, that's just a short drop. There's no real tension on that wire. Our new line, however, would really start to put a lot of tension on that pole, pulling it sideways. 
Now, the normal way of dealing with that is you put a, a guy line and an anchor on the other side of the pole that kind of counteracts the, uh, the, the new line that you're putting in. In this case, though, the electrical pole is on our side of the road, so you can't just put a guy line out and an anchor because it'll be in the middle of the road. So instead, you use what's called a push pole. Now, you've probably seen these. This is where you have the vertical electrical pole and then another pole at an angle leaning up against it, basically. And that stops the vertical pole falling towards the line that's pulling it. So they had to install a push pole that was going to be up our driveway, basically in the same orientation as where the line, the wire, will eventually go as well. To do this, uh, they have to use a certain length of pole. And as it turned out, the one they brought that morning wasn't actually quite long enough uh, for the situation that we had down here specifically. However, the pole that was going to go in spot two happened to be just the right length. So they took the truck up there, picked up that pole and brought it down here and prepared it to go in as the push pole on our transmission line. So having brought it down, they were able to install the fittings. They got the second truck here with the, the, the person lift, the cherry picker, and they headed up there, secured off all the line, insulated everything, put all the protective things up that they needed to, and were able to install the push pole. Now, as always with these things, the wind obviously picks up right when you're doing something like hovering a pole in midair or up in a cherry picker. And that's exactly what happened. We had some really gusty wind. The boom and the, the, the person up in the lift, they didn't seem to mind at all. They seemed pretty stable. The pole wasn't moving. It was nicely anchored by the truck at the time. And after a little while, they had that new push pole installed. So where are we up to as of the end of today? Well, we've got the push pole installed down at the road. We've got pole number one installed. We haven't got pole number two yet, but pole number three is in and we have the standoff installed that we need to position our conduit, which is good because we're hoping that the site crew will be here to do the, all the excavating work in the next couple of weeks. So good to have that in. Meanwhile, the electrical company is gonna come back again, again, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, and they've got a few tasks to finish off. First, they'll bring the ledge drilling truck and they will uh, install pole number two. Second, uh, they've got to install the, the anchors and the guy lines on each of the three poles. At that point, all of our poles will be installed. We're not going to install the wire just yet. We need to get the conduit in. We need to uh, trench that. We need to install the conduit. We need to install the transformer pad. And basically, they'll come back. We've got uh, an inspection. We don't have a state inspectors or anything here, but the electrical company will come and inspect the trenches that we put the conduit in, make sure they're appropriate. We can then cover those up, and then they will pull the primary wire from the pole number three through to the transformer pad. We install the fiberglass transformer pad that they'll supply, but we will um, they will install the actual transformer itself. So that's kind of where we're up to today. I'm really pleased with this. This was one of those big tasks that was on the cards to happen at some point, but it's kind of really cool. It's, we're seeing some progress now. We're seeing things move, and I'm really excited for the next few weeks as we start to push forward with the, the site work, get some changes up there, get some movement happening, and hopefully have power on this site in the not too distant future. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.